What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be going over how to catch carp using corn. Why corn? A few reasons actually. Besides the obvious fact that uh, it's effective, uh, it's readily available, it's inexpensive, and it actually stays on the hook quite well. Um, I also, I just want to throw this out there. I'm going to be targeting common carp, okay? These are not the invasive Asian carp that are um, all over the, the Illinois River and uh, a lot of the uh, Mississippi spillways and tributaries. Um, so uh, this is going to be a, a catch and release video. But uh, other than just uh, catching fish, I really want to spend a little bit of time uh, going over with you guys. Um, just some tips and things I've learned over the years when it comes to uh, basic carp fishing. So I'm pulling up to the lake pretty soon here and uh, I'm gonna walk down to the spot and I'm gonna show you guys the rig I'm using um, and uh, yeah most importantly see if we can get into some fish so stay tuned. All right so I just pulled up to the first spot here it's a little bit breezy. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work for or against us. Uh, we shall find out. Uh, but I do wanna point out that uh, we got some rain last night, uh, which brought the water level up a bit. And uh, I have discovered over the years that anytime you get a, a rise in water level, uh, the carp tend to move in really close to shore uh, and feed quite uh, aggressively. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, the low water clarity as well as the, um, the higher water level um, is going to work um, in our favor today. Alright, so for those of you who have watched my channel before, you know I'm a real big fan of the Carolina rig. Basically, it is a sliding sinker down to a bead and onto a barrel swivel. And the whole purpose of the bead is so the uh, the sinker uh, doesn't get wedged with the, um, the swivel down to about, oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 inches of leader line. And finally, your hook. Let me just talk a little bit about the, uh, the hook here. Um, you don't want to use a hook that's got a, a real thin wire on it. Uh, carp are a real powerful fish. And if your hook isn't thick enough, uh, they can actually bend it on you and get off. Um, they're a very strong fish. Um, also, you don't need a really big hook either. Uh, it's, they're not like a catfish where you'd want to uh, toss out a big circle hook. Um, carp don't have particularly big mouths on them. Um, I'm just u right, using a, an octopus hook here, and I'm just going to put probably three to four kernels of corn on it. And uh, I'm going to toss it out there and let it sit on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. All right, and then the last thing to do before we start the fishing is I'm gonna chum with some corn. Basically all that means is I'm just gonna give them some freebies. So I've got a little handful here and I am just gonna toss it on out there. And the reason for chumming, it's not so much to attract the fish, but rather it's more so to get them in the feeding mood um, as well as to keep any fish uh, that might be in the area, um, you know, to, to get them to stick around. There we go. First fish of the day. Get this off. Oh, he's a decent one. He's not even fighting that hard. He just kind of came in with it. Oh, he's not that big, I guess, actually. Oh, stay on. First carp of the day. All right. Right, not a big one, but it's the first fish of the day. Very weird. He kind of just came right in. He barely put up a fight with me. Well, we'll do a little bit more chumming and uh, get back out there fishing again. See ya, buddy. All right. Hey. 
There we go. It's been a long time since I had a fish. I had to move on down the shore to a different spot. And this guy feels like he's got some weight. All right, hold on, bud, hold on. I would say this one is better than the last one. At least he's fighting a lot harder. We'll see once I get him closer to shore in terms of size. And he's almost here, let's take a look. You know, I want to point out with these carp too, besides corn, you can catch them on a variety of other grocery bought baits like bread, uh, frozen peas. Uh, you can surface fish for them with popcorn and even french fries, believe it or not. Oh, he's actually not as big as I thought he was. This guy just had a little bit more spunk than the last one, I guess. That's all. Yeah, he's just fighting a lot harder. Yeah, he's not that much different than the last one, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's actually that much uh, bigger or smaller than the last one. He just put up a heck of a fight, though. Well, maybe we just have to weed through some of the smaller ones to get to the big ones. We'll see. There we go, just as I released that last one. <laughs> I had one on this rod. All I had to do was change spots. Look at that drag. Yeah, sometimes if they're if the bite slows down in a spot, you might get lucky and have another one swim in the area, but you're really better off uh, packing up and moving somewhere else. I tell you, if you've never gone carp fishing before, you've got to try it. These things are so much fun to catch. They're just such hard fighting fish. And they can get up to big sizes too. I thought he popped off there for a second. That's a better one. That is a better carp. All right, there we go. Got a better carp. I didn't get a measure on him, but you can tell just from looking at him, he's definitely bigger than the last two. Yeah, sometimes, like I said, you just gotta move around and weed through the little guys to get into some of the better ones. Let's get this guy back in and see if we can even top him. There he goes. I had to revive him for a little bit for him to uh, get his bearings back again, but there he goes. Oh, I don't know if my camera got that on you guys. He, uh, this guy pulled my rod out of the rod holder and my, uh, those bite alarm bells that I put on when he, took the bait it just flew right in the water and I lost it <laughs> oh my goodness was that 
One heck of a strike, jeepers. Oh. This guy is not playing games today. I swear if I reacted any slower, he actually would have taken my whole rod in the water with them. I'm telling you, these fish, they are powerful fighters. Let me get my net ready. How funny would it be if he was the smallest one of the day that did that? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. But uh, I don't think he's that small. Oh, he doesn't look, he doesn't look too big. Well, let's see when we get him a little closer. Yeah, I'll be darned, he's not that big. Man, the way he, uh, the way he um, first took that bait, I thought he'd be at least a 15 pounder. He's probably about the size of the, the second one we caught. Wow. Wow, you are one aggressive little guy, that's for sure. I thought you'd be the biggest one of the day the way you hit it. <laughs> All right. See you later, buddy. All right, go. This one, I tossed my bait parallel to the shore over here. I figure they're probably going to be feeding uh, quite heavily on all of this vegetation along the edge. Oh, and I got a whole bunch of salad in with them too. I hope he doesn't get off on me with all that, all those weeds on there. Yeah, so crazy. That first spot I went to after I had that first fish, I was there for about an hour with nothing. So then I moved over here and all of a sudden I'm just getting bites like crazy. In the net. All right. Well, he's not a particularly long one, but uh, he's a little bit more chunky compared to the other ones that I had. Well, let's get him back in, and I've only got a little bit of corn left, so uh, we'll see if I can get one more and uh, top off this video for you guys. There we go. I used up all the corn, so this is gonna be the last one of the evening. Last one, please be a big one. got them in get my net ready a lot of times when they see the net they freak out and bolt off and take a whole bunch of your spool with them come on All right. 
right, that's not too bad of a fish. That's not bad at all. All right, I'll end on that note. Compared to some of the other ones we had, that's not a bad carp. Nice, not bad at all. He's not a behemoth, but he's not tiny either. Cool. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> he got me soaking wet. <laughs> Oh, I was not ready for him to bolt off like that. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, folks, that's all she wrote. I'm out of bait and the sun is starting to go down. And uh, it's kind of like on and off rain showers now too. So I think I'm gonna head on back to my car and uh, call it a day. Uh, let me tell you, I had a lot of fun out here catching these fish. Uh, like I've mentioned earlier, if you've never uh, targeted common carp before, I strongly recommend it. Uh, they are a really fun fish and uh, you don't need any fancy equipment to catch them. As you saw, I was just using a pretty standard uh, rig with some corn and just kind of moving around a little bit looking for the fish. Uh, if you've never gone carp fishing before, uh, hopefully you learned uh, a thing or two from this video. And uh, if you enjoyed uh, watching this video, uh, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.